denigrating fathers and depriving them of their legitimate legal rights. It was once said that there would never be a war between the sexes because everybody was sleeping with the enemy. Amazingly, today, according to certain social scientific surveys, it seems the liberals have even been somewhat successful at discouraging that. Very impressive. But the liberals' most effective work, their most effective attack on the family, has targeted that second purpose, the education of children. Parents might not want pornography in their kids' elementary schools. They might not want drag queens reading to their children in the libraries. They may not want teachers calling their son Sally in the fifth grade. But that's just too bad, according to the libs, to insist that parents have no right to object. Michael Knowles raises a poignant issue regarding the marginalization and disempowerment of parents within the sphere of their children's education. His assertions underscore a genuine apprehension regarding the gradual erosion of time-honored familial principles and the diminishing authority of parents. Knoll's commentary is reflective of a conservative standpoint, accentuating the pivotal role of parental involvement in child-rearing and academic pursuits, alongside the preservation of traditional gender norms and moral precepts. Conversely, his stance on parental dissent appears to underscore a profound cultural disparity between conservative and progressive ideologies concerning matters of gender identity, sexuality, and educational paradigms. Knowles's statements echo conservative anxieties surrounding the encroachment of progressive doctrines and policies upon parental autonomy and fundamental societal values.